Hello walkers and welcome back to City Walks, the channel where I walk you around cities <laughs> and sometimes uh, hikes and trails and that sort of thing. Today we are, and I'm going to talk the whole time, so just I'm putting that out there. Uh, today we're in Dole, France. Uh, you may not have heard of Dole, France. I never had until my son and I started riding our bikes across France and made it this far. <laughs> Uh, it is a prefecture or a sub-prefecture near Besançon, which you may have heard of. It's like across the street here. Um, and it's, I believe, where Louis Pasteur was born. Um, it's, a, it's a cute little town. It's on the, I believe, the Dubes River and also the Rhone to Rhine canal system. It was actually not part of France officially until Louis the 14th in the 1600s. Uh, and we're getting, we're kind of on the edge of Alsace region. So we're kind of in the mount, not really the mountains, but the hill country here. Um, let me throw you around. I'm going to spin you around, so hold on to your, your treadmill there. My name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker today, your virtual travel guide and your co-discoverer. Co-discoverer being the primary part of that. Uh, I read a Wikipedia article. Um, and other than that, we're just gonna wander around and see what kind of cool stuff we can find. So I'm gonna spin you around again. All right, I'm cross over here. Um, thank you to our Patreon supporters. Your support is very crucial to this channel, very helpful to this channel. Um, makes things like this possible. And I appreciate it a lot. If you want to become a Patreon supporter for, I think it's $5 a month, uh, or a one-time donation via PayPal or coffee, uh, please see the description links below. Bonjour. Um, but back to Dole in France. This is kind of fun. Little, this is kind of one of the things I like doing is not just the big cathedral, which we're going to go down and see, but also just the, kind of the everyday stuff of a place. We're passing the post office on the left here. Um, I just love it. You know, you got this ancient city that has, is still being lived in and it's not a museum, it's a city, it's a commune, um, commune in the French sense. Uh, and, uh, you know, people live in these places, work in these places, and that requires a lot of infrastructure and logistics. This little garden, the auditorium Carl Riep. Um, you start to get a little more Germanic influence over here, I've noticed. The architecture has changed a lot from uh, the Loire Valley. I'm going to show you this little plate in the ground here. It's got a little cat sitting on a uh, wall or something. There's several of these. My son and I, we stayed here the other night and I actually took the train back from Besançon because it was raining when we, uh, when I would have done a city walk and we had a big ride and my legs were tired. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so that we did walk around just a little bit just to get dinner and some groceries and that sort of thing. Uh, so we're getting into right near where we stayed and we'll walk around and explore. Rue du Collège de l'Arc. Look at this gateway over here. I'm just going to take you over this doorway. Oh. And that. Like it's kind of medieval, but it's also kind of 1600s. It's kind of a little of this, a little of that. Very cool. If you want to see more of our French walks, uh, please do so. We've I filmed, I think this is my 11th so far 
and you can go to the website, citywalksvirtualtours.com. We're going to make our way down to the cathedral, and we're also going to end up at the canal at some point, and the river, and a nice park. So um, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we'll pass some shops and uh, some buildings and a square or two. Did I say this? I didn't tell you. It's the, uh, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius, about 1130 in the morning. On a, what is it? It's a Wednesday, I think. Yeah. In May. chairs here in the public space. And look at this old uh, stairwell system. I don't know why, but I find that awesome. I mean, I think it's cement, really, but it looks old. It's got those timbers up above. Oh, and then you've got this cool mural here. A little turned around. Oh, there's a kitchen off to the right and it smells all lovely. Rue de Sergent, Sergent Arnier. Arnier? Like a city worker cleaning the sidewalks off. There's a Japanese restaurant up to the left. We're going to make a right on Rue Attire. I'm going to acknowledge beginning here that my French pronunciation is uh, poor, and I apologize for that, but uh, I, am take, I have been doing the Duolingo French course for several months, trying to pick up a little French, and it's been kind of fun to try and use it. It's intimidating too, but people are pretty friendly. You make an effort. Ah, here we are. This is Rue Bessonson. And it's a quite good boulangerie and Benet place right here. Off the right. A little grocery store, a couple stops down. Casino Bio. I think this is sort of the higher end street. Look at these. Ooh. I don't know if you can see those or not, but delicious. Mmm. And that's not even the one I was pointing at. 
Here's the grocery store. This is, I love this. This dog just kind of hangs out here in the window. Got a little parking garage down here to the right, and it sort of descends down into a hill, or a hill descends down to the canal and river, which you can kind of see down there. We'll make our way down there eventually. But first, I think, I want to cross over. Do you have any questions for me about our time here in France, our, our bike trip or anything, please let me know in this um, comment section for YouTube. With this kind of neat uh, fountain here in the middle of a parking lot. I guess, I'm not a huge fan of a parking lot, but you gotta park somewhere, I guess. Look at that building. Oh, I just love it. Look at that steep, steep pitched roof there. Let's go into this park. And I gotta find the way in there. The other day when we were here, there's a circus in town or something. Further down the hill. merry-go-round carousel little family doing a early rider bike ride look at this park I'm gonna do um, the plan is to do a couple of walks or a walk at least in Besançon and there is a be there are several beautiful parks there as well we're going to just do a loop through here real quick. You can look off to the right here and get a glimpse of the cathedral. We'll get over there eventually as well. And it's amazing to me how quickly a space like this can get quiet and how different it is psychologically, almost physically, from the traffic noise and the hubbub of an urban space. And then you get this little pocket of, it's not wild, but it's nature. And you get the wind in the trees, you get the birds singing, you get the fountain, just sort of takes a load off, a weight off. I love it. This is a monument to Louis Pasteur. And if you don't know who that is, then, uh, well, he invented um, inoculations, basically. And the pasteurization, and maybe not inoculation, that's not quite true. He uh, definitely invented pasteurization of milk. He was a microbiologist and scientist. Look at this. Oh. oh, I think we can make our way down to the canal this way. Which would be quite nice. Look at this hillside park. I love it. These kind of stone steps here. Alright. Oh. It's 
kind of artificial but beautiful little cataract waterfall with a grotto. I assume that's artificial. I could have been here. They just kind of built around it. If you have any memories or knowledge or corrections or things that I missed about Dole, please leave them in the descriptions. I love talking to you guys, love interacting, love hearing your memories and your shared experiences. And even the occasional correction is nice because I, I do want to get the most accurate information out there that I can. Just got myself in a little bit of trouble with the pasteurization and inoculation. That was not as knowledgeable as I would like to be. Look at these trees. Oh, I just love it. Love it. Um, yeah, I have been called out on a couple of comments, which is pretty unusual recently for not being an expert and talking too much. Uh, totally acknowledge that that's the case. Uh, that's just the, what I do on this channel. That's what brings me joy. So totally understand if that's not your thing. I have a list of other channels that you might want if you like the quietness of it or more expertise. So I do like discovering. I like sharing these little things that you know, maybe glossed over or not even shown on the more refined, more produced channels, more produced videos or websites. There's a role for those for sure. Um, but I just love finding the details and little, little moments and places of beauty that serendipity puts in our path. Well, a mixture of serendipity and walking. I like that idea. The idea of walking and serendipity. It means that it kind of conveys the need for action in order to create opportunities. Got a strain here. It's like somebody in there. Son or grandson. I want to take you down here to the canal and show you some of these awesome canal boats. Riding the bikes along these canals is just, it's lovely. Uh, you get these nice, for the most part, paved paths, or if not paved, packed gravel. Uh, so they're really nice to walk on. Uh, getting a little sprinkle here. And you see a lot of these are big boats that I think people live on, but you get a lot of the smaller ones as well. I'm not gonna go too far down this canal. Bonjour. Anyway, the idea of cruising the canals, look at how peaceful that is down there, um, seems really awesome. Uh, but then I start to think, well, what would I do? There's definitely these towns along the way, but they're actually kind of few and far between. And there's definitely a, um, sorry, we're walking into the wind and there's a little sprinkle, so I have to check the lens every once in a while. Um, you know, there's not a lot of major attractions along this area. For instance, the major chateaus are further downstream on the Loire. Um, 
Certainly Besançon has a citadel. Uh, there's some cathedrals. We're going to go make our way over in that direction now. Uh, and some cool architecture, but in terms of major, uh, major sites, it's a little limited. So if, if that's your thing, cruising along and finding things, which I guess is kind of what we're doing here, uh, that'd be great, but I'd like to move a little faster. I think Ecluse is the locks. Is there a word for lock? You know, you see these words and you're, at least we are. We're kind of on the move. And so I forget to look them up. There's a remnants of this, I don't know, a fair or carnival, I guess, on the far side there. It's an island, and on the far side of the island is the Dubes River, D-O-U-B-S. see a lot of these boats up here on the right. I see a lot of those. There's some that you can rent called La Boat. And uh, we actually ran into some Americans who were cruising the Sone River a few days ago. So they were having a great time uh, just hanging out together, I think, and doing exactly what I was saying. Just sort of experiencing the rural France. I have to give some serious credit to uh, the French and their ability to park along and drive in these narrow little streets. As an American, we have these giant roads and streets and what are called strodes, which are basically areas that are just for cars and it's almost impossible to be a pedestrian in an area. Um, but here, it's kind of the opposite, where we uh, we have an entire city built before cars were invented, and so you get these limitations on vehicles, and one of the many reasons European cars tend to be smaller. Look at these flowers. This is little moments of beauty, even the grass in between the cobblestones here and the stones themselves. Oh, I guess those are roses. Look this little tower. I guess there are rooms in there. This sign up here, uh, it's basically do not enter uh, one way coming towards us, except for bicycles, which are allowed to go up there, which is awesome. So it just makes biking a little bit easier. We are on, well, I don't see a street sign.
Here's that steep pitched roof again that we saw earlier from a different angle. Pizzeria in a 400 year old house. I don't know how old that house is, but it seems old. So over here you have a post, postal worker. <clears throat> Sometimes they have these e-bikes. Sometimes they have these little tricycle, electric tricycles to navigate around these narrow streets. Just makes it way more efficient for them. And because they're electric, lower maintenance costs, lower fuel costs, of course. Now, I'm going to go into this cathedral because it looks open. That's the plan anyway. And I'm not going to talk in there too much. If I do, it'll be a whisper. Uh, and I'm going to remove my hat. Some fine buttresses, or one anyway.
smell is, is maybe some incense and just centuries of building, but it's very pleasant. Staircase here. Right. Very cool. I'm gonna unzip my jacket here. <laughs> oh wow, this is cool too. So we're in this vaulted entryway. I'm gonna come out to the front and we'll take a better look at it. Looks like a market area. And we'll see if that's open in a second. It's not open, sorry. Everything is gated. Oh, that's pretty cool. going to make our way back into town. Centreville. Oh, we're going to take a look at the boulanger. Oh, the smells coming out of this place. Good gosh. All right, we're just going to Bonjour. Monsieur. Go down this way a little ways. Rue des Arènes. Des Arènes. Rue Baron Bouvier.
Sorry about that. I'm trying to get the camera to show the right stuff. <laughs> Little puppy. She's another dog, I think. You're on Grand Rue again. <laughs> <laughs> 